English holds the distinction of being the most widely spoken language globally. Research estimates indicate that there are over 1.5 billion English speakers worldwide, comprising more than 18% of the entire global population. This immense popularity of English raises questions about its evolution and the numerous variations of the language. The diversity of Englishes across the world can be attributed to the sheer number of English speakers and the impact of their respective cultures and societies on language usage. For example, I speak American English as I was born, raised, and educated in the United States. However, there are as many as 160 different Englishes spoken across the globe, each developing unique characteristics as more people learn and use English. English is not only prevalent on land, but also dominates communication in the air and at sea through specialized versions like Aviation English and Sea Speak. The significance of English language education is evident as 138 countries make it a mandatory part of their core curriculum, while 40 other countries offer it as an optional course of study. In total, at least 91% of countries have some form of formal English language curriculum. Yet, the question remains, why English and not another language? The answer lies in historical context. In the past, French held prominence as the go-to language for diplomacy and business when communicating between entities that didn't share a common language. This language, known as a lingua franca, referred to all Western Europeans, not just the people of present-day France. The original lingua franca, capitalized, emerged in the Mediterranean basin and facilitated trade and diplomacy from the 11th to the 18th centuries. However, English gradually rose to prominence and became the language of choice for international communication. After the Norman conquest in the 11th century, French-speaking nobles ruled England, leading to the replacement of English with French in domains of power like the courts and the church. Nevertheless, English remained the language of the common people. Over time, English regained popularity, and by the 14th century, it had become the most widely spoken language in Europe. Eventually, by the 17th century, France became a leading land power, and French established itself as a language of prestige and diplomacy, even replacing Latin in international relations. Why isn't French the dominant language worldwide right now? Well, firstly, not everyone is a diplomat, but even if they were, the 20th century world wars played a crucial role in a global power shift. English had already established itself as dominant in the technology and innovation sectors due to the Industrial Revolution. The treaties negotiated after World War I were written in both French and English, giving English a significant place in diplomacy. After World War II, France lost its dominant power status, and English, being the language of the new major economic powerhouse, the United States, became the language of the economy and money talks. In short, English's popularity stems from its association with money and power. American English, in particular, owes its popularity to the widespread influence of American pop culture, including TV, music, food, and cinema, which is imported worldwide. Now, let's address the question of why there are so many different varieties of English. Unlike French, which has a standardized set of rules enforced by the Académie Française, English lacks a central governing body to determine correctness. As a result, we see significant variation in Englishes spoken across the globe, all considered proper and authentic. Various cultural, social, historical, political, and geographical factors contribute to the way people speak differently. In the United States, English varies based on cultural heritage, such as African American English, Chicano English, and Cajun English, or by region, as seen in Pittsburghese or Appalachian English. Similarly, England itself has distinct regional dialects, like Yorkshire and Lancaster English, despite their proximity. Many global Englishes are influenced by local languages. Singapore English, or Singlish, is based on British English due to colonial history, and it incorporates elements from other local languages like Malay, Hokkien, and Tamil. Nigerian English borrows words from native languages to express specific cultural concepts. 
Linguists have tried to categorize Englishes using models like Braj Kachru's three-circle paradigm, classifying countries into inner circle, primary English language, outer circle, English as official or second language, and expanding circle, English learned as a foreign language. While English currently holds its position as the most widely spoken language, the future remains uncertain. The globalized world might see Englishes converging due to increased interconnectedness, or they may diversify to an extent where mutual intelligibility becomes challenging, although the latter is less likely. In any case, the significance of all these diverse Englishes lies in the fact that if you speak English, you can communicate with approximately a billion more people. For those who can speak multiple languages, the benefits are even greater.